Forgot to mention, before I show you the demonstration, there is a test point that allows you to solder on a, uh, uh, a jumper so, uh, for a 500 square, uh, 500 square weight signal. So we're going to solder that into place, you can't miss it. It's just to the right of the heat sink, at the far end, it says 500 hertz. Um, the picture quality here is not that great, but it's, it's right, it says 500 hertz right there. I'm going to quickly solder that into place, cut off the leads, it's just a jumper. And I'll show you how to use it, and then I'll put a, uh, a sine wave on it, uh, aside from the square wave. Okay, so what I've done is, I've, since it's grounded internally, I'm looking for the square wave. Uh, I just plugged in the the, uh, the red probe to the uh, to our our uh, test signal. Okay, so right now I'm probed on the 500 hertz signal. Um, don't want to zoom out too far. If I want to mess the, if I want to change the uh, the vertical profile. I press V position, VPOS. Oh, there we go. Just okay. So I change the vertical position. Uh, if I want to move it left and right, I can test test the. I can press the horizontal position. If I want to change the time per division, you see. Now let's uh, let's probe uh, a sine wave. Mr. Sparks number two is my signal generator. So on the side here, this is my volt per division. Uh, I have it on one volt times two, so two volts per division. I'm gonna change it to five volts per division. So right now I've got a vertical pro. I've got the uh, the. I've got to change the vertical profile. I'm going to change it to the middle line. Now I'm going to change it so it's a better uh, we get a better signal. I'm going to change it to two volts per division. So here's the multiplier. It's so one volt times five volts right now per division. So one volt times two volts per division. Now I'll do it one volt times one volt per division. So there we go. Now we'll change the time per division. There's our nice sine wave. You can even change it to 500 millivolts per division. It's a one megahertz oscilloscope. So if you're interested in uh, in building your own, go to www.electroniclessons.com or if you want to buy them in bulk, go to www.engineeringshock.com. Thanks again for watching, guys.